All right, guys, so today I'm going to have Michael from 7th Sense come up here. I'm going to leave the link on the screen so you guys can also make sure to check out his channel um, after the video is done. It's a really, really cool gambling routine, kind of like something maybe uh, Richard Turner would do, which is like a really neat, not necessarily magic in a way, um, but more or less kind of like a, a display of, you know, awesome card control. It's a really, really cool trick. So if you guys check out um, the link that I'm going to place on the screen, go and do so, or you can stick around and his video is going to be on here. It's very, very well made, and I highly recommend you guys stick around and watch the entire video. So anyways, a big thanks to Michael for actually uh, submitting a video, and um, anyways, guys, here is his performance. Hi guys, uh, I hope you're all doing great and uh, first of all, uh, a big thanks to Hester for actually having me on his channel. It really means a lot, uh, you know, I remember watching his videos uh, during the time I first got uh, interested in card tricks and now to be on his channel, uh, it really uh, feels great. And uh, a big thanks to you guys as well for actually checking out the video. And uh, if you like uh, what you're about to see, make sure to uh, check out uh, my channel as well, 7 Sense Magic. And uh, if you like the content, uh, which I hope you do. Uh, make sure to subscribe uh, as well because uh, it will be really great to have you guys uh, over there as well So uh, but before that let me just uh, show you something okay And what I'm about to show you is not necessarily uh, a card trick but uh, a technique That are actually sometimes used by uh, card cheats to uh, cheat at cards And I will use the uh, four kings uh, to uh, demonstrate this and uh, the technique that I'm about to show you is actually known as uh, stacking the deck. Now if you are wondering what that means, uh, it simply means that you position the cards in a certain order so that uh, when you deal them, the cards fold uh, exactly where you want them to fold. And that is what is known as uh, stacking the deck. Now to make things uh, easy for you guys to follow, I will uh, leave the king's uh, face up on top. Okay. Now uh, you guys might actually find this uh, hard to believe but uh, all it actually takes is just uh, two shuffles to actually uh, stack the four kings for a uh, four handed game just two shuffles that's all it takes now uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it is uh, easy to do it does take uh, a certain kind of uh, precision but uh, it can be done and uh, after now that this doesn't mean that shuffles are unfair, okay? Shuffles are actually indeed uh, very thorough, except that uh, I was tracking the cards uh, as we were shuffling. Now uh, at this point, uh, usually uh, deck has to be cut, but uh, for now let's just see if the uh, stack worked, okay? So uh, I said the uh, four-handed game, and you see the king actually falls uh, to myself, and uh, this is what is known as uh, advantage playing because. Uh, you're actually giving yourself uh, an advantage by uh, dealing yourself the kings. Now, uh, I want you to notice that uh, every card is actually being dealt fairly off the top of the deck. And that's because we shuffled uh, unfairly, of course. But there's just uh, one more thing. You know, giving yourself uh, a good hand uh, like the four kings is uh, pretty good. But uh, you also want, uh, want to encourage the other players to bet heavily as well. So uh, tell me if, apart from giving myself the four kings, if I give uh, this player the four aces, uh, will you be impressed? Well, actually, if I gave him the four uh, aces, I would lose. That's why I gave him the four kings and uh, I kept the aces for myself. And uh, that is what is known as uh, stacking the deck. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the effect and uh, now let's actually get into the uh, explanation. Now uh, this uh, effect was actually created by a really great magician named uh, Jim Swain and uh, this particular version actually belongs to uh, another uh, really incredible magician named uh, Darwin Ortiz. And uh, what's great about this is that uh, this is one of those tricks that starts as a uh, demonstration of skill but then uh, ends as uh, absolute uh, impossible and uh, it's something that people will uh, remember for a long long time and uh, just because uh, you know everybody wish that they could uh, deal uh, four aces or four kings to themselves and having just said that even to people who don't know uh, anything about cards or having ever played card they would still be impressed uh, because of the uh, nature of the setup and uh, it's a uh, really strong effect and i say all this because uh, i want you to uh, encourage uh, yourself to actually practice this because 
this is a uh, slightly uh, advanced effect and it will take some uh, practice on your part but uh, just keep in mind that the uh, time you spend on practicing this effect is uh, is really worth it okay it's, uh, it's a really uh, strong effect for uh, any kind of audience and uh, you can also do this uh, in any uh, any situation okay you don't need uh, any close-up pad or anything many of the gambling routines uh, require that to do some multiple shuffles and all but this one uh, doesn't need okay so now let's actually uh, get into the explanation there's a, a very small setup uh, you want the aces uh, on top of the deck and uh, you will uh, get a break under the ace and now you will do a uh, bravi reversal you will uh, cut about half the cards and uh, turn it face up and now you will cut uh, the rest of the cards and uh, turn it face up and that will reverse the uh, four aces at the uh, bottom of the deck now you will uh, take out the kings and as you take out you will actually cull one of the cards uh, under the spread okay so one card is culled under the spread and as you uh, spread and uh, take out the kings it's important that uh, you don't accidentally uh, expose the uh, face down cards as you finish the uh, uh, taking out the card kings uh, you will actually uh, put that uh, culled card to the uh, bottom of the deck now you can uh, very fairly uh, turn over the deck and uh, everything looks uh, normal now in the performance I actually uh, started uh, with the deck uh, in this situation okay now uh, if you have any opportunity to do, the, to, to do that uh, by all means uh, do it in fact if you are doing the tricks for magicians then uh, it's better if you start uh, with the deck in this condition okay now at this moment uh, you will uh, actually talk about uh, stacking and uh, what it means and uh, this actually does uh, two things first of all it gets the uh, audience uh, interested uh, because at any moment uh, you actually uh, say about something secret they are already uh, you know interested uh, in the trick but uh, also uh, you need a little bit of time to actually pinky count uh, 13 cards okay because you need a break under uh, 13 cards and uh, obviously you can't uh, spread and get the break because that will uh, show the uh, face of faces so uh, you actually have to do uh, the pinky count and you have to do uh, get a break under uh, 13 cards now you will uh, cut every card above the break and uh, you will cut a few cards and then uh, continue cut it okay now uh, at this moment you will uh, place the uh, kings face up on top of the deck and now you will uh, do uh, two pharaoh shuffles okay and uh, both the shuffles uh, need to be a perfect cut which means uh, you will cut at exactly uh, 26 cards and also uh, it has to be an in pharaoh which means the original top card goes uh, into the deck okay and uh, you will do uh, two of those uh, shuffles and on the second shuffle uh, the uh, cut uh, has to be perfect but uh, the uh, wave doesn't have to be perfect okay so uh, on the second shuffle it's okay if you uh, if it is uh, not actually a uh, perfect wave uh, under uh, the uh, first uh, 10 counts okay so what is exactly happening is that now the uh, kings and uh, aces actually are uh, going in getting interlaced uh, together just like this okay now you can actually do a uh, cascade on the second shuffle but I do that uh, with the faces towards the audience so that uh, I don't accidentally show the aces. Now uh, at this moment if you want you can actually uh, do a false cut but uh, I don't do that. Now you can uh, do uh, show that deal uh, four handed game and uh, a king will come up uh, at the fourth card. Now this is actually a double card okay it's a double card uh, but uh, they don't know about the uh, ace. So now you will uh, turn the double over okay a deal here and now you will do a uh, second deal which means you uh, deal the second card like this and then you will uh, deal the other card fairly okay it's actually a king and uh, they think it is actually here but it's actually an ace now you will uh, continue like this now uh, you might be actually uh, thinking that uh, instead of uh, doing the second deal why don't you just uh, turn the double over and then uh, deal the king here now uh, you could actually do that but the problem is uh, the effect won't be very strong it's just that the uh, kings appearing here is just far more uh, impossible than it actually appears here and also uh, if you uh, deal the cards here it might actually provide uh, a clue to the method 
and also uh, it is uh, perfectly safe uh, for you to uh, do a second day right now because uh, at this moment the effect is actually uh, the king uh, showing up at every fourth card and this is actually the on beat uh, of the effect and uh, an on beat is uh, always followed immediately by an off beat so the second deal happens at an off beat so you deal the seconds at a moment of uh, relaxed attention now it's also important that you do uh, deal the king to yourself very uh, deliberately and very very slowly okay you don't want anyone to doubt uh, anything at this moment okay so you want to make this as slow as and as deliberate as possible and now you will do the uh, final second deal and uh, at this moment they are already impressed because uh, you just uh, took a deck you kept the four kings at the top and then give it uh, two shuffles and then you stack the deck and for a lay audience that's quite impressive because for them a shuffle only uh, mixes the cards and uh, to show that you can actually put the cards anywhere you want that's already uh, very 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 impressive but uh, of course they haven't uh, seen everything just yet now you can uh, talk about uh, what you wanted to uh, give the other players a good hand as well you can slowly slowly uh, turn over this hand and then uh, reveal that uh, these are actually uh, four kings and uh, you can slowly show that the four aces are actually uh, in your hand and uh, yeah that is the effect uh, so uh, anyway i hope you enjoyed the effect and i hope you will uh, put in the required practice and i hope you have uh, fun with this uh, really strong effect so uh, thanks for watching and thanks again to hester for uh, having me on his channel make sure to check out uh, my channel as well and uh, i hope to see you uh, there so uh, until then take care bye